You know what day it is. Motorhome Mondays. Come on, look at this location. I think this is the best Motorhome Monday location that I've ever had. And it kind of suits because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> I am 32 today. <sighs> getting on in the world, getting up in the ages, but not as old as them. <laughs> right. First things first, apart from my little birthday personal shout out, I want to give a quick shout out to Peter. Um, he comments loads on my videos and on Gadget John's and Tashi's videos. Um, yeah, they're, uh, he, he's a legend, he really is. So cheers for commenting, Pete. We uh, love, all, love all the comments and uh, yeah, cheers for watching us all. Right, let's crack on with a question. Oh, before I crack on with the questions, oh, nearly forgot. If you didn't see last week's, why not? Come on, where were you? Where's your sick note? <laughs> if you didn't see last week's My Home Mondays, um, I announced that I'm going to the Stratford uh, Camper Van and Overland Show, International Camper Van and Overland Show. Um, and I've got a discount code, which I will drop in the comments below. I think the army are doing some training exercises over there, so it's a few fuds. Um, so bear with me. So yeah, uh, the, comment, uh, the discount code, if you do want to come, uh, grab your tickets is 20% discount code in the description below. So just use that and there's a link there. Click the link, go over there, click camping. And uh, if you're going to come camping or if you're just a day ticket or whatever you're doing, use the code, get some discount and we'll see you there. There's going to be a load of us there. So uh, look forward to seeing you there. Can't wait. It's on the 19th and 20th of September. I'll put the dates up here just in case I'm wrong. So whatever's here is correct because I might have forgotten the wrong dates. So if you have got your tickets to Stratford and uh, you are coming along, I will see you there, stickers in hand. So come find me, grab a sticker, and uh, we'll, we'll socially distance wave instead of an air hug, <laughs> you know, COVID and all that. Um, but yeah, can't wait. Now let's crack on with the questions. Uh, is it easy and comfy getting a shower in the motorhome and how long can you stay in it for? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a big guy. I've, I've just literally had a shower in my motorhome. Um, I leave the door open uh, because then and I've got the shower curtain comes round. So it gives you a bit more elbow space, you know, so you can swing around. But to be fair, no, there's plenty of room for me. So it doesn't bother me at all. And like you, like you obviously know, I'm a big guy. And I get on fine in there. Um, as for how long, well, mine's a 100 litre water tank. So... You know, it's a 10 litre water heater, which is constantly heating more as you're draining it, you know. And you're not having 10 litres of hot water punched straight through because obviously you're mixing it with cold. So it all just depends on how, how much and how hot you're going to have the water, really, and how long you want. So, uh, you know, I don't have luxury showers. I just usually, you know, rinse down, lather up, rinse off. That's pretty much it. It's not going to be a long, massive shower because it doesn't need to be. It's just... It's just it's for functionality, not for, uh, yeah, I'm just, that's the way it is. Yeah, so I don't have long showers in, in, in there because, well, one, you can't, you know, you just you just can't because you'll, you'll use all your water and then you've got none and you've got to refill again and again and again. But they're adequate, they're enough. Oh, that's a fighter jet. <laughs> There were some uh, um, Apaches, I think there were Apaches and some um, some proper, well, I don't know the name of them, but some low low flying helicopters last night and they were shooting up flares as well. Uh, they were shooting flares over there. And that was pretty cool. It, looked like, it just looked like madness was going on. Just all crazy little things and the, the helicopters fly really low, really low. It's great down here. Uh, yeah. So, Next question, do you have a second home in the cab of your truck? This is because I'm a lorry driver. Um, I have got a bed in my truck, but no, we use different trucks every day. We, we go out, we do our, our runs, we come back, and then we, get, we, we hand our keys back, and then next shift we get keys to a different truck. We never have the same truck. You know, it happens sometimes, but we don't keep stuff in our trucks. They are just constantly workhorses. You know, they're constantly being used. So whilst I'm not in it, someone else is using it. So, nope, don't really keep anything there. Don't really do any of that. 
Your motorhome has been in the garage a lot recently. Do you have a monthly slash yearly maintenance budget and are you over or under it? Um, I do put money away, but now I'm, I'm at the stage where I've just put money away as savings. Um, I did in my old video when I done a money video, which I'll link to up here, there uh, was like a maintenance cost, which I just put money aside for the MOT, for the service, for the hab check, you know, on a monthly basis. So then it just p p builds up ready ready to be used. Um, but I mean, I think this year I've, used, I've spent about, I don't know, I'll say a thousand, twelve hundred pounds um, on everything. That's with the brakes, all the servicing, all the little, little repairs, the fridge. Um, oh, I've had quite a lot done. But it's all maintenance work and it's, you know, it's, it's been good to me in my home and I have to be good, good to it back, you know, otherwise it won't treat me well. So, you know, you've got to look after things, haven't you, really? Um, but yeah, no, I'm not anywhere over or under or I think I'm pretty fair because like last year I didn't have any real maintenance to do. Um, so I didn't do any breaks or anything like that. So... You know, it swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Sometimes you'll spend a load, sometimes you'll spend a little. But the one thing that needs to be uh, consistent is an emergency fund. A little pile of cash, however much you can get, just to sit there in the case of when it happens, not if it happens, when it happens. Because it will. Uh, next one. Love your vlogs. You've brightened up our lockdown. Thank you very much. Uh, you mentioned you travelled in Thailand. Have you travelled anywhere abroad in your motorhome? Uh, if not, where would you think of going uh, post-COVID? Uh, well, I'm actually quite itching to go to France. Uh, nowhere in particular. Not got any, any actual place in particular I'm thinking of going. Just to get over there, dip my toe in the, in the going abroad waters, shall we say. Um, having a little look around, find some cheese, find some breads, some baguettes. <laughs> Who don't love a baguette, eh? <laughs> baguettes. It's fresh baguettes and French cheese. That's, that sounds like a plan to me. Um, yeah, and just to have a look at the airs over there, like the way they, you know, motorhomes are much more accepted. And uh, have a little look around. So I think France is on the first on my list, just to, like I say, dip my toe in. And I'd like to do that in maybe January, February, if possible, with everything that's going on. Uh, and then from there, maybe later on in the year, go a bit further. Maybe, I don't know where, but yeah, that, that's kind of on my, on my horizons at the moment. That's in my mind at the moment. Obviously, we've got to see what happens, but hopefully that can, ha that, that, that can go ahead. And last question. I don't see you commenting on other van life slash motorhome channels. As you are well known in the motorhome, motorhome channels on YouTube, how comes you don't don't comment? Uh, I don't really comment on many channels, to be fair. Um, I leave a comment when I need to leave a comment or when I've got something to say. And being well known in 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 this thing is that doesn't give me any more authority than 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 any of you and or anyone else. Um, just because I've got a channel on that, that doesn't mean I know more than anyone else or know something better or or more well, it's just it's just that my ugly mugs out there are a lot more than yours you know <laughs> not saying you've got ugly mugs but <laughs> it, it, that's it so i do comment here and there and i'm good friends with pretty much everyone in the community uh i like to be friendly with everyone but I, i'm only going to comment if i've got something to say or if i can help or you know if if it warrants a comment you know so like my mum used to tell me if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And that a few people could use that that advice, you know, what what leave comments on my vlogs and other people's. But apart from that, no, I just I just comment where I need to. So, um, and on that note, if you've got any comments, leave them in the in the comment section below. If you've got any questions for next week's Mart Home Mondays, drop them in there. Um, if you want to contact me on Instagram or Facebook, then the links are in the description below. And if you've got any more video ideas or anything you want to see, anything you want me to do, anywhere you want me to go or I should visit, then leave them in the comments below or drop me an email at Darren, D-A-R-R-A-N, at, uh, at, drop me an email at Darren, D-A-R-R-A-N, 
A-N at theovermarkhome.com. God, that was hard to say that, wasn't it? My own email address, can't even say that. But, right, I'm going to go crack on. You have a great week, guys, and take it easy. Have fun. Bye. Look at it.